It's from Agent Gravener. Good or bad? Private. I'll... Uh... Speaking of bad, I found a giant ancient cadaver in Baxter. Any idea why Tix would want to hide it? A few. Why isn't Agent Bloom allowing anyone in to see your father? Security, Doc. Calico's the last working cell in the country, and we mean to keep it that way. That means closing a few doors? Well, so be it. But I'm a medical professional and the head of this cell. So a chain of command shouldn't be an issue for you. It isn't, sir. Amelia, you don't have to get all... I'd prefer Dr. Blackwell, sir. Ready for debrief whenever suits you best. <sighs> The creature you found in the Devil's Pass is essentially an oversized leech, a bloodsucker of sorts. Its stomach acids prevent blood from coagulation. So it's like a living... container? Precisely. Moreover, according to microscopic analysis, the blood within the leech is remarkably old. It's not only that, it isn't like anything <laughs> we've ever seen. And Felicity feeds it to her familiars. Uh, gotta learn more about that sawmill and how it's all connected. The McCallum Sawmill was founded in 1845 by Elijah McCallum, the definition of a small-town family operation. After Elijah's death two years ago, the mill was bought out by an investor representing the Andalusia Financial Services Group. Conglomerate of banks, oil fields, railways, you name it. What does a big fish like that want with a shitty little sawmill on the ass end of nowhere? It's unclear. The purchase itself was entirely above board. What about the forest? Old native ritual sites, burial mounds, anything? Nothing a note, no. Well, I guess I'll just have to figure this out on my own then. Thanks for your time, Dr. Blackwell. I hope I live to serve, sir. I'll get back to my research now. I have a bad feeling about this. Ooh, those zappers acting up. The glamour must be near. Say something about the source of the glamour. More disgusting than I even imagined. The glamour's probably secured by more of these ugly tumors. Need to take them out to destroy the illusion. There's one or maybe two sources more.
spent thousands to take possession of this shithole, but it looks abandoned. This machinery hasn't been used for ages. Something's fishy here. Bet the answer's hidden behind that. Door. Look at yourselves, my children. You were sick, weak, and poverty-stricken. Dirt poor peasants living simply to survive, bound by pain, clinging to a pointless life. Your only ambition was to pass that suffering onto your young. But now that you have decided to accept my gift, you can leave all that pain and fear behind. I gave meaning to your blood. And blood is everything. I hear you waiting, creeps. Check this beauty out. Smell doesn't bode well. Let's take a look, see. Christ is a goddamn blood factory.
soul. She changed every last one of the workers here. Alive and pumping blood. Got a bad feeling about its source. by feasting on its blood. It's exactly how you described it. Ancient, unique, pure. This is the missing element that'll accelerate the change. Combined with my blood, we can create a perfect progeny, bound with my will and ambition. Your life's work will be complete. They'll all see we were right to act now. If you can't change people, change the world and force them to adapt. forest the more blood traces I see that's never a good sign Tooth. 
trip into its guts. Great.
So this is where those beasts get their magical blood from. Once that ancient fella and Baxter was sucked dry, she found you, huh? Christ, I'm starting to hate mythology. Anybody ever heard of a colossal monster with a forest growing on its back? Cause I got some samples. Mine. That's a Mikanak. In Huron Indian folklore, it's some kind of minor deity. It was covered head to toe in those damn leeches. That means we found yet another blood factory set up by Dubano and Felicity. That would explain why they attacked Baxter. They were protecting their source. The ancient blood they used to transform their familiars. Bad news is this Mikanak thing was supplying their war for quite some time now, allowing those foul bloods to spread all over the country. The good news is, it won't do it anymore. Help! Dr. Blackwell, somebody! <laughs> Step aside. Ugh. Even if he doesn't kill us in our sleep, that link in his head will lead the ticks right to us. Then let them come. Killing ticks is what the Rentier Institute does. You listen to yourself? This isn't about your birthright. This is what happens when we run a government agency like a goddamn monarchy. All our protocols go out the window as soon as Daddy Dearest. Keep talking to me about the rules, you bureaucratic shrew. Please, we're all on the same team, remember? Only when it suits him. How about finally telling me where Edgar went? He's in Morapa, searching for the plant to make the regen compound. The regen compound? Now you're wasting what little resources we have left chasing a fairy tale? Listen, Mr. Gravener's an experienced agent. If he didn't have faith in his mission, he wouldn't bother. We are at war, Doctor. Who else is worth saving if not the leader of the Institute? And in the long run, it could help everybody if the thing by some miracle actually works. You have until tomorrow morning. In the meantime, your father will be restrained and placed under round-the-clock supervision. Fine. I'm gonna get Edgar's ass out of those swamps. And if I get back with that plant and I still see that shotgun in your hand, you better damn well prove you know how to use it. <laughs> 